A motorboat crosses a river in a northerly direction at 2 metres per second. Here it is, going across the river at 2 metres per second. So this is a velocity because it has both direction and size. Now the river is flowing eastwards at 1.5 metres per second, so that's going to make the boat drift to the right as the boat makes its crossing. Use a graphical method to determine the boat's resultant velocity vector. So in order to work out the effect, the resultant velocity, or the resulting velocity, on this boat, we're going to need to add together these two vectors. And in order to add vectors together, we can do it graphically or mathematically. And you need to be able to do it graphically. So let's take a look at how we would do that. So first of all, we would need a scale because we're going to draw a scale diagram of these vectors uh, in the form of lines with arrows on. So our scale could be uh, as simple as saying, well, uh, let's make 10 centimeters on our page represent one meter per second in real life. So now we know that we need to draw a line going up which has a length of 20 centimeters and that's going to be our uh, our first vector. So we take a ruler and let's draw that with a size of 20 centimeters on the page. Obviously I haven't made that exactly 20 centimeters uh, but you can do that accurately using your ruler. Now when you add up vectors you need to add them head to tail. So the head of the vector is the starting point and the end of the, the tail of the vector is its end. And so when we now add this vector of the river flowing, we need to add it so that its head lines up with the tail of the other vector. So this is now going to start here and we're going to measure across and it's going to have a length of 15 centimeters. So let's do that now. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully I can do this fairly accurately. There we go. And so that is now the river velocity, 1.5 and uh, I'll actually write that 1.5 meters per second. Uh, this represents two meters per second and the uh, the length of that line is 15 centimeters. I hope that makes sense. Yes, okay. So the resultant vector is, well, we start here and we traveled up to here and then we came over to here and this is the end. So the resultant vector is the single line which would go from the starting point to the ending point. And so we can now draw that in. Pretty much. So there is our resultant velocity. Resultant velocity. And we would take the ruler and we would get pretty close to measuring at 25 centimeters. Now we need to use our scale to convert back to the velocity of the boat. So that would make sense as 2 point five meters per second which kind of makes sense because this is a right angled triangle and you could actually use Pythagoras to calculate the resultant velocity. Uh, we've used a graphical method using a ruler um, and, um, and a scale and that's uh, equally valid. So our resultant velocity is two and a half meters per second and that is going to be making the boat go off on this angle more like that, at two and a half meters per second. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next flashcard.